The law that recognizes same-sex marriage in the state of Minnesota takes effect on August 1st. Joining me right now is the senator who championed this legislation last session. Thanks for joining us, Senator Scott Dibble. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks, Julie. And again, you carried this legislation in the Senate, right. Representative Karen Clark in the House, and right. we, we spoke to you immediately following its mm -hmm. passage. The dust has settled a bit now, and everybody's mm -hmm. ramping up for Thursday. Right. What about with you personally? Has the excitement kind of leveled off, or do you, does it still continue to grow every day? Um, you know, that's an interesting question. Um, you know, this is such an amazing thing that's happened, and uh, sometimes it's so big that you just kind of have to step away from it for a little bit. But even just today, I was thinking about how amazing it's going to be on Thursday when I see friends of mine. You know, there are friends of mine who have been together for 38 years. And so they're celebrating their 38th anniversary by getting married. We like to say their courtship went quite well and they're ready to take this step. And the nation, of course, was watching, continues to watch. Do you personally feel any pressure that Minnesota step up and make sure that things do go sm smoothly for all of those people who are going to be in line to get married, not just this week, but in the coming months? Yeah, but you know, I don't think there's anything really complicated about this whole issue. Uh, people get married every day in Minnesota. So this is just simply allowing folks who have fallen in love and want to build a life together and uh, make that commitment in front of friends and family and um, you know start moving on with their lives uh, you know it's just the same thing so you know I, I think there will be uh, a little bit of logistical uh, issues to handle because so many folks who have been waiting to get married so there's going to be you know a little bit of a you know an issue with the pipeline you know because a lot of folks trying to get through that queue pretty quickly um, so I think county clerk's offices will be pretty busy and I do know, um, you know, a number of folks who are having more traditional weddings and in, in, in wedding venues and are looking to have the flowers and the catering and all that stuff are having a hard time because there's a lot of competition for services and space right now. But I think everything will be just fine. It'll all work out. And uh, what, what will really be interesting to see is what Minnesotans are thinking and saying about this whole subject in a few months' time, in a year's time. They're going to see that just like in Iowa and Massachusetts, California, all kinds of places, um, life just moves on. What about for you personally? What does this all mean? Uh, it's beyond anything I can even describe. To, to know that uh, I enter a state of full citizenship starting August 1st, that I will be married to my husband in Minnesota. I won't be a legal stranger to him. I won't have this weird bifurcated dual existence where we're married in California, we're not married here. Combined with, of course, the fact that the Supreme Court chose to completely overturn the Defense of Marriage Act at the federal level, so we'll have all the rights and benefits as U.S. citizens at the same time. It's going to be really amazing. 